hi myself gautmi today i am going to show you how to paint gautam buddha painting this painting tutorial is in two parts uh, i am trying to give more detail in this tutorial so that's why i have divided it to two parts in first part uh, you will see how to paint uh, gautam buddha uh, his hair skin tone and uh, dhoti and all other details uh, painting his eyes and all the details you will see in the first part in second part you will see uh, how to paint a misty background then deep forest background and sunlight uh, sunlight rays uh, in forest all these things you will learn in second part so let's start with the painting and uh, for this painting i have used uh, uh, uh different brushes of uh, several hair brushes and red several hair brushes some synthetic brushes also and uh, sound brushes for uh, smaller details um first i have uh, my canvas size is uh, 36 inches width by 48 inches height it is in portrait mode first uh, i am i have uh, uh painted a base layer uh thin base layer with burnt sienna on it uh it's not necessary but uh, if you paint uh, then it will be better uh, um, to cover all the areas and uh, so that it um, there will be no white spaces in uh, canvas so you can apply a thin layer of uh, burnt sienna it dries faster for uh, making your paint thin you can use uh, linseed oil and turpentine oil uh, in it uh, linseed oil and turpentine oil uh, you can use uh, uh, both oils in uh, equal amount as uh, linseed oil uh, is a thick oil and turpentine oil is a thin oil and it dries faster so use uh, both oils in equal amount and mix it with uh, your paint you can use on uh, uh, on uh, other layers also you can use these paints uh, as you go on upper layer use uh, linseed oil more and when you are on um, bottom layer then use turpentine oil more so uh, for uh, yeah for eyebrows like you can see that uh, i have used uh, burnt umber for it and uh, it is dark shade if you want more dark then you can mix little bit uh, persian blue in it or you can mix uh, ivory black in it uh, usually uh, eyebrows are not exactly black so we don't use black color uh, we apply uh, van dyke brown or uh, burnt umber for this for skin tone i have used a uh, uh, skin tone uh, ready made skin tone color and i have mixed algerian crimson uh, burnt uh, uh, sienna yellow ochre in it for uh, variations you can make your own skin tone color also by mixing red yellow and uh, titanium white you can mix little bit blue also at some places for darker shades so it's up to you that how you uh, use basic skin tone color but in basic skin tone color also we have to give different shades because there is there are some places are dark some uh, are in lighter shade so you have to add more variety in it the like uh, for lighter uh, i am mixing titanium white and at some places little bit persian blue also and uh, for darker shade i am mixing uh, burnt sienna in it and uh, yellow ochre also so uh, make your uh, color palette with different shades add different shades in, in, into it and uh, add variety of shades you can uh, create first your palette and then um, start painting or you can also add uh, variations of colors during painting too 
for uh, detailed area i have used uh, round brush of size uh, zero like for eyebrows and for uh, eyelashes then for uh, lips also i have used this round brush of size one but for other skin area i am using several hair red several hair brush of uh, size four sometimes you can use three or uh, six also if it is a bigger one then uh, um, those brushes are bright brushes and uh, you can use uh, synthetic brushes also or mongo's hair synthetic brushes so it's up to you but uh, for skin i usually prefer to use uh, either mongo's hair brushes or red seven hair brushes uh as it will be more finer and uh, easier to merge then for hair uh, i have used um burnt umber and uh, van dyke brown i mixed van dyke brown in, into it and uh, you can also give variety or uh, uh, mix a little bit um, ivory black also for darker shade and for lighter shade you can mix yellow ochre in it but mostly it is a mixture of uh, uh, burnt umber and uh, Mm, ivory black for this i have used a flat brush of uh, size 6 uh, this is synthetic brush as i want more texture in it so i am using synthetic brush for it i am using uh, moving my brushes in round circular motion some places as i want uh, to make his, uh, his hair more curly and bouncy in uh, uh, center you can see that, uh, that this is lighter and uh, uh, and in corners hair is darker so uh, we uh, our purpose is to make it more embossed more in 3d so choose color accordingly uh for creating any painting any portrait uh, you should first observe any photo or any reference photo which you want to use or you can just uh, observe any person sitting on a specified location you have to observe them and uh, thoroughly observe them the more you observe the more you better paint so accordingly you have you will uh, observe that how light and shadow can give any 3d effect like uh, how it uh, lift your nose how it uh, embossed lips and uh, how forehead is uh, of different shade so all these things you can observe from any photo reference or uh, uh, from any person
then after that i i will paint uh, neck portion shoulder and chest portion for this also i am using uh, variations of skin tone colors and uh, here i am using uh, synthetic brushes also because it is a wider area and we don't need much detail over here but still some details are required shadow and we have to keep in mind how shadow and light portion uh, which makes it more embossed and uh, convert it into 3d because uh, otherwise your uh, hand and the chest will look flat uh, it should be embossed one and round one then for creating painting fingers first i have uh, outlined fingers and uh, then i have added uh, paint on it and shadow on it don't afraid for, by giving darker shadows uh, if uh, because uh, uh, you have to apply first uh, darker part and lighter part and then you have to merge so it's better if you use uh, contrast colors then it will be more prominent more in 3d so don't afraid that oh this is not matching with my skin tone this is more dark or this is more light uh, skin tone color is not much important important but still if you want to achieve a particular skin tone then there also there are different shades some is in shadow so which that well that is more darker and which is in light they are more lighter uh, so don't afraid with uh, uh, contrast colors
for dhoti also i have used uh, um red yellow and uh, indian yellow color also and for shadow i have used algerian crimson mixed with uh, uh, vermilion red so for when we i have to give lighter uh, or more light shade then i have used chrome yellow mixed with uh, uh, vermilion red make uh, diff many folds and uh, in dhoti in co in your uh, um, costume because costumes are never flat they are there are many fo folds and uh, for showing folds you have to give shadow and some portion is embossed so accordingly you have to imagine your uh, that uh, how a person wears this costume then how it will look or you can observe once also and then can start painting observation gives clarity in painting and it will improve your imaginations so it's better always to observe people their costume their behavior their shadow their facial expressions that will improve your painting
द नेक्स्ट पार्ट विल कंटिन्यू इन पार्ट टू वीडियो वेयर यू कैन सी हाउ टू पेंट इट्स बैकग्राउंड सो कंटिन्यू इन पार्ट टू थैंक यू